One big limitation of image-based reinforcement learning agents is that their performance drops a lot if significant visual changes are made to the input from training time to deployment time, even if the core task remains the same. This is not something that us humans struggle with so much. For example, if you learn very well how to play one particular game, you can very easily play another game of the same genre even if you are playing it for the very first time. So today, I want to share a paper that tries to tackle this problem and introduces adaptability to RL agents so that they too can play multiple games with different graphics just like humans. It is titled Self-Supervised Policy Adaptation During Deployment and this promises to make it much easier to train RL agents on a specific game and then port them over to different games that belong to the same genre. Let's take a look at how this method adds deployment time adaptation where there are no reward signals available to fine tune the RL agent's learned policy. It separates the usual controller policy network into two parts. One part is responsible for learning useful latent representations from the pixel input and the other part learns which actions to take based on these latents. So, during training, the agent learns from the reward signal in the RL training loop and there is also an additional network in the mix here that learns the transition sequence of the intermediate latent representation using self-supervised learning. Here, the self-supervised task used is as simple as rotating the image by a certain angle like 90 degrees or 180 degrees and then trying to identify the rotation angle as a supervised classification task. Now, here comes the key part. During deployment, we do not have the reward signal but we can still fine-tune our network by using the same self-supervision task. This allows our latent representation to adjust to the visual changes in the input image while still allowing us to obtain our learned controller actions from this latent. The results shown in the paper demonstrate a clear improvement in performance obtained by using this method during deployment. This line of research will make it much more practical to train game bots with reinforcement learning in real life. Since we can train them to play one game and then use the same agent to play other games of the same genre with simple self-supervised adaptation. This makes game AI one step closer to being much more human-like in the future.